In a survey of high school students, the National Youth Violence Prevention Resource Center found that almost one in five teens had thought about suicide, about one in six teens had made plans for suicide, and more than one in 12 teens had attempted suicide in the last year. As many as eight out of 10 teens who commit suicide try to ask for help in some kind of way before committing suicide, such as by seeing a doctor shortly before the suicide attempt. I guess I was around 14 when I started having my, you know, kind of suicidal thoughts. And like what caused them is because when I was at home one day, my dad was kind of like beating on my mom. And like I didn't really know how to deal with the situation at the time. So what I did was I went upstairs to my room. I took the kind of like hangers off the little rope because I had a rope in my closet. And I tied it up over. Um, I had like a hook on top of my roof. I tied it over the roof and I tried to hang myself, but as you know, I was hanging myself, the rope kind of broke and I had like a new perspective over my life and I knew that I wasn't gonna do it ever again. So I guess like after, it was a couple years ago, like after my dad died, like I had a lot of burdens on me of like, I had to take care of my nieces and nephew and I had to go through school and I had to like help my mom with all the rain and everything. And then also with that, like, I've gone through a lot of stuff in my life, so it was like everything got to me. So I've had, with that, I've just had, like, I'll admit I used to, um, what is it, self-destruction? I used to cut myself with that. And, like, one day I just had a thought of, like, why should I be here if I have to do all this and if I can't protect the ones I love and everything. And I was walking home that day, and I passed by, like, a bridge that's maybe, like, three stories high. So I just like got on top of the bridge and I was like thinking, do I jump or not? And instead, like at that moment, I got a text from one of my best friends saying, like it was a f random for like, I love you, you're the best person in my life. One of those like sent to 10 people or something, like, cause to show your love, I was like, oh wow, this actually made my day feel better. So like, instead of that, I didn't jump. And like, I'll admit, I do, con like I haven't cut in a long time. I probably got maybe four months without doing it, but. I st I've still done it over the years. Yeah, I've tried suicide. I mean, I haven't like hung myself or tried to overdose, but I've like, taken a knife and I've been just wanting to, but I just can't. I want to, all, every time, all the time, whenever I'm at school or around other people and they just pick on me, call me names. It's it's not nice. I. I want to end it, but I'm afraid. But I think it is the best thing to do. So I have had suicidal thoughts, and I guess it was, it's just because I felt that nobody cared about me, because everybody's like in my family, because right now I just live with my mom and my brother, because my dad moved out recently, and um, whenever he comes over, my mom and my dad are always arguing, so we never spend time as a family, and when we do, they're always focused on my little brother. And I just felt that nobody really cared about me, so I just felt that what would they care if I was gone? So, um, 